This is the Balkan Adventures podcast. Everyday life and experiences in the Western Balkans. It's a Balkan Adventures podcast. I'm sat in a rather overcast Banja Luka this afternoon. And it is the afternoon, so you know when this is being recorded. And there are so many negative things that come out of Bosnia and Herzegovina and, and the Western Balkans as well. I can't do this. I wish I could do that. And then, as most of you know, when you go on your social media feeds, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, you know the haters, they just like coming out and being negative. So we're going to see, possibly, how much power haters have or do not have. Now, here's a disclaimer. The person I'm just about to talk to, I've known for many, many years. So if we start drifting off and talking about the old times, you'll know why. So I'm asking for forgiveness before we start. Sat next to me is this young lady. Well, she's going to say, I'm not young, but um, she's young compared to me. Let's get this right. She's been a broadcaster, a singer, a club DJ, an advocate for healthy lifestyles, and now is a digital entrepreneur who is celebrating the second year of third year, third year see, <laughs> of existence. It's Diana Tepšić. For those that live in Bosnia Herzegovina, you'll most probably know Diana from her very successful television show. Diana, first thing then, with all the negativity that comes within the country, with all the things that you've been involved with, where do you get the time to do it? There's always a time if you want to do it. And uh, I think that the, the, the biggest happiness in life is do what you like, definitely. Uh, so this is, this is my motto. So you will enjoy uh, living your life if you do what you like. So you just uh, have to listen to your visions. Uh, so if you are going to imagine if somebody uh, say to you, you can do whatever you want. There is no obstacle. But do you have a courage? Are you brave enough to really do it? Like imagine, close your eyes and imagine what do you want to do? How do you feel doing it? In And there is no obstacle. Don't say... Um, I don't know. I can't do it. I don't have, I don't have money. I don't have contacts. I'm not looking good. I'm not feeling good. Uh, I don't have anything, but just close your eyes and think, uh, if you don't have obstacles, can you do it? I think you can. There is just a mindset. There is the problem. People in the Western Balkans normally say, yeah, I, okay, Diana, I get that. But then, you know, to have the success that you're, you're enjoying at the moment, you know, you, you needed money to get started. So it's either, you know, your parents gave you the money or you knew somebody or you have that, what do they call it, that contact somewhere. Before we go into that, having such a, a successful life and being so bright and bubbly as you are today, if I can spin back to the 1990s, you had to leave the city of your birth in the 1990s in what was then not a very happy time. So let's go back to then. When when you left Zagreb, where you grew up, I mean, you could could not have had the view of where you are today in your wildest imagination. Of course not. Uh, I didn't know anybody. I was just like uh, seventh grade of primary school. And uh, it wasn't a great period of life because my parents didn't have a job. And uh, I, I don't know why <laughs> they decided to come to Banja Luka, but my uncle lived here. So we, we came here. But uh, I didn't have uh, such bright and bubbly childhood but uh and also you have all the teenage problems and end of the war and no money and no parents didn't have a job but uh as time uh pass they found a job and i finished schools and everything so uh, you you have to work on yourself because you don't have a um, I don't know, parents with a huge money, you are not in politics and you don't have a savings. So uh, you have to, of course, uh, finish all your schools because you have to, uh, your knowledge has to grow. But also uh, young people think, okay, if I finish my university, that's it. No, you have to uh, have time to uh, read an article a day, to listen to some kind of a great podcast, to, to read a book, to grow yourself every day, again and again, not just finishing schools. And also, if you don't have the money, what was my case, uh, I didn't uh, 
I wasn't happy uh, working in the government for 10 years. I needed a change. I needed uh, new challenges. And then I decided I need to make my own job <laughs> to do myself, something to do myself. Uh, and then I didn't have savings. I didn't have uh, special contacts, like nothing. Uh, and I started my own business just with one computer and one ca camera. Okay, my mother bought it through the, you know, that card that gives you the chance not to pay it right now. Oh, but... yeah, the, 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 the bonus card. <laughs> yes. Like yes. When, when I go to shopping, the, the lady at Tropic says, Kartitsa. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it was a shopping <laughs> card and my mother buy, buy this camera and she said to, my, to me and my sister, like, you are crazy, but okay. I remember it was like, I don't know, maybe 2,000 marks or something. But on the shopping card, you can pay like, you know, in uh, small uh, amounts of money during the maybe two years. So we had this camera and one computer and that was it. And uh, my friends and uh, people who thinks like me, who believed in me, uh, we made this idea. Okay, let's do the TV project. And I, uh, I quit my job in the government. And uh, all the people around me say that I'm crazy. My relatives, my family, you know, nobody did did believe this. My vision that. Uh, I told uh, people who were with me, like, we are going to be huge, we will travel the, re uh, the region, and we can do this. So we made this, like, pilot, a TV pilot, and offered to the TV station. And they said, wow, this is really different, this is really something. But it has to, uh, I had to have a courage to do that. And then came the haters also, because a lot of people love it, but... Th there was also a haters, uh, but I, I didn't mind them. Like, okay, they're saying something, but I didn't believe them. I just believed my vision, and people who are now also in the in the play team three years after TV show is just one of the project. They believed in me, and we just went forward and forward your creativity has been around before you've been a singer i mean if people go onto youtube today they can find the songs by the way do you still sing no <laughs> because i needed to um take advices from different kind of uh, i don't know life coaches and authors that i read um they said like focus really on on few things that you need to do that you want to do I was a singer songwriter and in that period uh, that kind of a work really transformed me and I, I I'm always listening to myself to my intuition so in that period of time maybe from 2008 to 2013 as I was working in the government in gender equality um, institution my uh, other like how do you say uh, ventile uh, yeah, um, was to create something. And in that period of time, I could just do the, you know, the, like creativity in music. So I did like songs and now you can watch it on YouTube. But now I'm fo focusing really on, on my agency, play team, my uh, 13 uh, people who work here and, uh, you know, traveling, meeting great people, learning from them because every... Uh, every shooting is a new inspiration. I learn from these people who I interview and also uh, I need to focus here in, in the play team agency because now we have clients and you have to have time for every client and to brainstorm everything and to delegate for other teams to do stuff. So now it's play team and TV show. You worked on a radio station together with me and I remember that you used to come up with so many ideas that we had to rein you in because you were always so enthusiastic about wanting to do things better, to be innovative, to be the first within this part of Bosnia-Herzegovina to do things. And you used to get frustrated a lot, I, I know, because your face used to say that when we said, well, we can't do that at the moment. Do you have these issues now where you are me? <laughs> yes, of course. But my, my self-esteem then was a pretty low I have to say that. And uh, during the years, you have to work on yourself to love 
uh, about yourself and then everything is easier. Now, if somebody tells me you can't do it now, we can do it tomorrow or for three years, I won't be frustrated as then because now I get to learn how to um, cope with these feelings and emotions and everything else. So my self-esteem now is different than before. And uh, I would say that to young people, like, don't worry if uh, I know you're going to be, I don't know, depressed or something. If you're not, uh, if you're not succeed uh, at the right moment, but the moment will come. So save your nerves for the great things that are coming, you know. Young people here, you know, you, you're mentioning young people there a lot. But young people here, when, they, when you say about follow your dream, the dream normally centers around money. Well, that's understandable. But money that they want now. I remember we sat together 18 months ago having coffee. And it was like, are you in profit yet? And you, it was like you felt really ashamed to say no. But there is this prevailing thought not only here in Bosnia-Herzegovina, but in Croatia, Serbia and everywhere else, that if you don't make money and you don't get it now, you're not successful. And I think that's a real bad thing if people have that in their minds. No, success is not equal to money. Money will come and be the part of this success. But if you have the main goal is, I want to do that, but I just see the money in it. You, no, no, this is not the right road because I won't, uh, I won't be able to do this, all of this in, in, uh, former three years, if I had just goal money. Uh, even, I don't know, my my colleagues, Bo, uh, Bojan Dragišić and Tihana Tepšić, who are also in the management of play team, uh, they used to be also worried, like, okay, how we are going to pay the bills, how we are going to give uh, salaries to the, to the people. And we can just, you know, put the, the, the key in the door and go home. And I was all, always positive. Okay. Step by step. Now we will, this money that we got from client, we will invest in, I don't know, uh, supplies or, um, equipment or whatever next month and month by month, uh, we, got the period that we can give salaries to people and everything but we are also not kind of a not this kind of a leaders i i like to uh, say to myself that i'm a leader not just a chief also so i said to them okay we are not having a huge you know paychecks like maybe other bosses or chiefs or whatever the the mo the most uh, important thing and priority is um, workers, so employers and equipment, because we can't um, grow our team without that. And the rest of the money is a small amount, but it's going to us. So uh, I, I think that we should grow a team and grow equipment and, and not to build a business to put a big amount of money in your pocket because it's not not working like that you know when when you see you on television sitting here with you now bumping into you in the street you are always a bright and bubbly person very strong person you come across as a very strong person but in those early days did you cry a lot yes i have my own fears also and we all have different, different problems, different fears. Is it in the childhood, in the family, in the surrounding, in whatever it is? But you have to, you know, just collect your fears and uh, re uh, turn it into a success. Because you have to talk to yourself in the mirror. You have to really think, what is the problem? How can I overcome it if it's a low self-esteem I don't know, talk to the people who inspire you, your mentors, like you are for me, uh, or uh, read the quality books, or find something that you can grow, that you can um, love in yourself. You have to love everything in yourself, the truth, the whatever fear it is. But th that's the problem, uh, especially with young people. They have some fears and they... Uh, the fear overcome them and they should, the fear, uh, they should transform it into love and uh, into, you know, 
success or whatever they want. They don't, uh, the fear can paralyze you. But if you know the tricks, you can trick the fear and transform it into love. Were you paralyzed at any time? I mean, in, in the way yes. you described. Yes. And you can listen to my song uh, that, I, that I wrote about that, Survive. And you can uh, really think where I was then at the real bottom. And my sister uh, was also do, uh, having these hard periods and where I am now. So you have to overcome it. And I think everybody, but everybody on this world has something which paralyze him. But you have to you have to win this situation to a love and success. That's the only way to do it. All the demons and the fear The voices that I hear All the darkness and the mess Feels like a broken glass I don't wanna fall apart But it's so hard I gotta breathe and see the light sat in Banja Luka as we're talking today. The Banja Luka of today is not what it was 25 years ago. It's a much more modern city, a very young, well, reasonably young mayor now that is changing things. But some things haven't changed. And, you know, the country and the region is still very patriarchal. It's still male dominated. You've worked in gender equality. What is the reception like from the competition, from society, to you being a female that is enjoying a lot more success than I have to say most of your male contemporaries are enjoying both here in the city, in the region and far farther away. Yeah, uh, some things did change really um, considering gender equality uh, topics and I'm still in love in these topics really and I follow all the global actions, campaigns and everything because I live that. If you really... Uh, hug gender equality as a real value you are in love in this topic for always forever uh, but me as a female leader I think it's very positive and I support every woman uh, who is successful being whatever she wants to be is that uh, being a businesswoman being a mother or a both or entrepreneur or, or whatever it is I for myself I didn't have uh, negative comments about when I come to to a meeting with uh, I don't know three other males um, yeah men or, or from business or creative industry uh, maybe it's because of that, uh, that I, now I have expertise. Now maybe they know me, especially in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And it's always how you present yourself. Of course, you, you have to have references be, behind you. But, uh, I think also the environment is changing. And if they Google me or I don't know what, they know they don't have to, they can't uh, ask me some questions, you know, about gender equality or be radical in opinions because they know I will say my opinion. So whatever they, you know, what they think, if we are in the meeting or something, they, they know what my values are. So I didn't have uh, problems in that, that I'm a female leader in creative industry. I've noticed when I come here that the male members of your team are really cool. I mean, it's, you don't get a sense at all of any edge or, oh, you know, I'm here uh, under sufferance. But that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's a very positive thing to have achieved. Go back three years now. When, when you started Play Team, you had your vision. You knew then what you wanted to be. Has the path three years later, just been a straight autobahn or has it had its twists and turns? Twists and turns, definitely. Ups and downs also. It was uh, 
There was a period of time, especially uh, during the, I don't know, summer months or winter months during the holidays in the past years, you know, when uh, there are no clients, there are there is no job. But somehow you have to do the, the math and uh, to save money for this empty months or uh, there was a time like, well, next month, how, how are we going to pay, pay the bills and to have salaries and things like that? But as I say to Tihana and Boyan, um, my colleagues, uh, I say, well, there's another client. He will probably, you know, knock on door. And we will be saved. But I, I really have this positive think, thinking. Like they say, well, if we don't get this client, we can, you know, put the key in the in the door and that's it. And I'm always like, no, no, no. There's There's got to be something. We can do something. And then we create our... Uh, PR strategies to maybe invite more clients if they are not knocking on door. But there was really ups and downs. Or you uh, you work on a really huge project and you invest a lot of money in it, but it's not coming back. But that's okay. No problem. It will be like next time. So uh, the important thing is not to uh, give up. That's that's a no way in uh, entrepreneurship. That that's for sure. It's going to be uh, nice times and not so not so good times. But you have to survive, as my uh, song is telling. <laughs> you, you will survive. <laughs> you know those summer months when initially, anyway, when there was this downturn. That's a lot of stress. Yes. Stress can make people ill. Stress can affect people in many different ways. What did you do to, to combat, to alleviate, to fight, to cope with that stress? The best thing is people are usually, you know, like in, in some kind of a this ad- adrenaline uh, and in a stressful situation. And you have, you, uh, they, they want to find solution right away. Like this second. No, this is not a solution. You have to lay back. You have to unplug everything and you have to sit down. Is it a a time when I will say to Boyan and Tihana or three of us will go to a coffee and we have to, uh, you know, have this uh, resume. What is the problem? What we did? What should we do? Like few steps ahead and then just plug everything off and take a rest. Take a, you know... Uh, time for yourself is it a go to sleep or watch a good movie tomorrow morning we will come up with a strategy so this now is not a uh, crucial time to uh, get a solution just laid back enjoy the silence and the answers will come to you you just have to be patient and you have to you know listen to this uh, intuition, what it's telling you, but you can't do right now. Just take a rest a little bit, and tomorrow you will come up with a solution. That's the always the best way. A lot of people recommend meditation. Do you? Yes, meditation, of course. If you feel joy doing the yoga or running or I don't know meditating, do it. But find something that uh, describes you, what feels you the most happy. Uh, because it is the, the mind and the body has to be in balance. One or or the other, if they are suffering, that's that's definitely not good. So mindset and listen to your body and do whatever you you like to do to be vital and healthy and positive, and of course, uh, great nutrition. Yeah, I wanted to say I, I I rang up one day and I said, "Is Diana around?" And they said, "No." She's in the gym. And I went, what? <laughs> and then it, it came that not only did you start to go to the gym, that you're now involved with a personal trainer, and you've reassessed, well, yeah, your eating habits, your dietary requirements. What brought that on? I, I had an interview uh, one year ago with uh, Sanita. Uh, she's, uh, she's a great, great person from Bihać. She was really depressed with no job. And uh, she transformed her life. She lose, I don't know, 57 kilos. How many? 57 kilos. Yeah. And she become 
a personal trainer. Uh, now she's doing the like online coaching and trainings and uh, diet habits, whatever. And she's uh, earning a lot. And she was my motivation because when I was interviewing her and my, you know, my back and my shoulders and my everything was so stiff and I, I was crying afterwards when I was listening her story. The main message was then that we are feeding our emotions. So think about that. When maybe a child didn't have a lot of love from their parents or, I don't know, from friends or from family or from partner, whatever the issue is, we always have like, we, we always think, oh, I will take this chocolate and you have this beautiful, you know, feeling. And sometimes we mix this. We, we are feeding our emotions. We are not feeding our body. So after this interview, I was totally, you know, shocked and totally stressed out and everything. And uh, I met my, my personal uh, trainer there and she said, uh, will you try tomorrow? And I had so much diets and I, I, I go to so much different things about, you know, uh, trainings and I started all over and over again from tomorrow, from Monday, you know, usual usually mistakes and excuses and excuses yeah. yeah but really from that uh 25th of january last year i lose uh 20 kilos and a couple of you know numbers in the how do you say that it? saves you money when you go shopping doesn't it <laughs> yes yes <laughs> but that really transformed me because after all it's one life you have to be always priority, not your, you know, parents, your partner, your friends, your children, whatever. You have to be healthy for yourself. And then, of course, you'll be, you will be healthy uh, and good person for others. But first of all, you are priority. So if people call me, would you like a meeting or, co or a coffee or something? And I say, well, okay, but at 11 o'clock, I'm going to bed because I have to be up. Uh, before seven to go on training or if you call me or coffee or meeting late afternoon I also go on training and my personal trainer Lydia has told me okay but I don't get it you are like vegetarian you're eating healthy but somewhere is the problem and she discovered that uh, uh, carbs and sugars not at all if you if you really uh how do you say it, um, excluded yeah. from your nutrition, you will have results. And this was it. Okay, like a vegetarian, it, it was, you know, like di more difficult, but it is. You can Google it, uh, vegan, keto, keto or uh, low carb, low, low sugar, and it will be, you will have your results. <laughs> you see? You're always bright and bubbly. There must be something in it. <laughs> Talking about something in it, you've become now quite established in the digital media scene across the region. Last year, you had your second anniversary of your Play Media event, where you now invite speakers, both international, regional and local, to come and to talk and to share experiences. So in a way, you've become a thought leader within your own industry, within three years of, of establishment. The Play Media event, tell us a bit more about that. Yes, idea was to, uh, to put Banja Luka uh, in the map of creative industry because, you know, you have to go for knowledge, for trainings, for seminars, for conferences, usually in Belgrade, Zagreb or Sarajevo. Banja Luka didn't have events like this, so we want to gather experts but not just experts it wasn't like the conference okay i will sit and i will listen to this lecture no just to you know go for the knowledge but we invited also the representatives of the companies of the creative agencies of the media so creatives and uh also experts and uh uh, agencies, companies, and students, and media, 
all together to share knowledge, to ask questions, to connect themselves so they can uh, work together in region and to, yeah, I don't know, meet the beautiful things about Banja Luka, to see that it's uh, really close to Belgrade, to Zagreb, to Sarajevo, and to offer some other content. Not just, it wasn't just a lecture. It was a place to be, to, you know, to smile, to to have a great concert, to to definitely enjoy. And the surrounding was really great. And we, uh, we designed it very nice. And the uh, planets were inspirational for us last year. So it was like uh, communication is uh, limitless. It's, uh, it's like universe. And uh, also the creative industry is like that. There are no obstacles and limits in creativity. And we wanted to send that kind of a message without giving too much away you said it was planets last year with you know communication knows no boundary have you come up with a an idea yet for the 2018 edition yes this year um also in may we will have our uh, next play media day also regional now we are thinking about the the teams uh what what stories we should uh, talk about at the event and we are thinking about the lectures also the about the experts from worldwide or from region and uh we we gave our designers also like a, a little bit of, like a deadline uh to create um new new design and uh, visual identity for this year. And uh, I can't say now because it's a little bit a secret now, but probably um, in beginning of February, we will have all informations about the, you know, main subjects, about the main messages, about the visual identity and design. You had three three stages, something like that last time. And that was uh, a quantum leap forward from the first year. I've been to both of the Play Media Days. So from one very small venue in the city centre to taking over a considerable amount of real estate at the castle without giving anything away for the 2018 uh, event, is it going to explode a little bit more in size or is the focus more on content? Uh, Definitely more on content, but also it will be it has to be creative and beautiful for the eyes and ears also so um we have to take it one step further every year we um we have a different approach and uh, we offer something new we're going to finish off now with something that's going to be maybe a little bit emotional we'll see how we handle this i'm a great believer i think you are as well of You know, you must live in the moment. You can't live in the past. You can't think too much of the future. But so here comes the emotional thing. If you were to go back to being that young Diana Tepcic on the day that you left Zagreb all those years ago and you had the chance to do things different, what would it have been? No, I wouldn't do anything differently. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy and satisfied with all the ups and downs, with all the, you know, difficult times and beautiful times. This is life and we can't plan it. We can just, you know, follow the flow and that's it. And one more thing that I learned that, uh, what you said, it's, uh, living in the moment. I I won't be stressful about the future, about the past, about, uh, you know, really nervous about something. You just, you just say, okay, let it be, just let it be. (laughs) And that's it. So no stress, more love, less ego, and more creativity. And definitely love yourself with all the fears, with all the... Uh, if you if you say negativities or or whatever, you just turn it into love. That's what I want for you and uh, for all the listeners. Diana, thank you very much. I think it's time for a sugar-free coffee. What do you think? Yes, let's do some coffee. <laughs>
To find out more about us and where we live, why not check out our blog at anenglishmaninthebalkans.com. See you next time. Donosimo kreativnost u pokretu. Priče sa talentovanim ljudima iz naše zemlje i regiona. Zdrave životne navike. Intervjue sa omiljenim zvijezdama. Mnogo smijeha i zabave u 45 minuta. Ne propustite show koji se voli. Svake sedmice u premijernim i repriznim terminima na ATV-u i Hayat kanalima. Više informacija potražite na Facebook stranici. Rekreativno sa Dijanom Tepšić.